Hey everybody, it's 12.30 on the 22nd of April. Over here in what I call the bullet field. I don't know what this is going to be called. Maybe this ain't the bullet field. Uh, Civil War area. The wind's howling. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear any of this or not over the wind, but hopefully we'll get to it. I just started up this fence row here, tried to do a grid pattern. Got a signal. It's copper. Kind of riveted copper. I don't know what it is. I have no clue. Could have been off a bat. I don't know. I'll uh, clean it up and show it to you later. Hopefully we'll hit something good here in a little bit. Got some buddies. I got some buddies. Hi hey guys. Yeah, they want to follow me around, but that's okay. All right, we'll get back with you later. You know, I got my first ball of the day. Pretty small, 40 maybe, 36. Yeah, right spot. Later. Well, I left from over where I was because this wasn't hitting anything. And I come over here across the road. Get back, dogs. I hit something and I see that's a coin. I'm guessing it's a penny. I don't know if it's modern or not. We're going to pull it out of the ground and look at it. Most likely a modern day something. It is filthy. I don't have my glasses. I never expected to see. I get some spit on it. I cannot tell what that is. No clue. I'm guessing it's a penny of some kind. I don't know, I'll clean that up in a little bit. Get back with you. Yeah, ain't sure if you can hear me over all this wind. I found this over, over there about 10 feet a minute ago and didn't film it. I figured it's part of a pocket knife. I come over here and hit a signal. I believe I found quite a bit more of that pocket knife. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. I'll clean all that up. You don't tell what you're going to find, is there? Later. I was beginning to think I wasn't going to get any bullets and finally got one. Another one of infields, I think. Cajun Corner called it an infield bullet. I don't know what they are. It's been hit by a disc or a plow or something. Unfired, I think. Alright. On the board with a bullet, finally. I'm hunting this a little different today. Instead of just going where I found stuff the other day, I kind of save that as a little savings account. I know where I can go over there and find stuff. I want to hit some of these other areas. Maybe I can get a get some kind of pattern later. All right, talk to you later. Well, about three foot later, I got my first ringer. Look at there. I guess you call them three ringers. That in there, I don't know. I don't know. I have to look and clean it up. Cool. First one I'm in this field I've got. Later. I'm on a roll. Another three ringer. Hee <laughs> Yes, sir. Bobble Ink. As they say in the movie, Jabba Dabba Doo. Cool. Clean them up later. Hey. Dug several more of the three ringers. This one's a little different. Uh, would that be a sharps? Pretty sweet if it is. I'll let you boys tell me. I'll clean them up later. 
Got another first here, I believe. That's them, uh, I don't know what you call them. It's a shot, I think. It goes in them artillery shells or whatever. Heavy chunk of steel, iron, whatever. Cool, first one I've got. Yeehaw! Boy, that would just plow through a man's... Huh, hate to even think about it. Cool. Later on. And I've got another type. It's a one ringer. Probably a 45 or 50, I'm not sure. Wow, it's cool. Find several different kinds today, that's good. Perks around right up. Found a 50 caliber ball a little bit ago, didn't film it, so. All right, later. Hey, this is the 23rd. This is yesterday's finds from the bullet field, Civil War bullet field over there. Uh, raining like cats and dogs again today. I was gonna go airhead hunting. Of course the creeks are up again. Not a bad thing. There's the pocket knife pieces I found. Kind of cool. Here's some bullets. You guys can tell me what these are. These are all 345 caliber. Or that's what they mic out roughly. I don't know. There's two of these are alike and nothing's different. 45 ball, 36. Now these two are different than these. These are about 54 and these are 58. They're a little bit shorter. I don't know. You guys know all this stuff. I don't. They're all coned. Two infield bullets. Uh, this is a rim off of one of them artillery shells, I believe. I think that's what that is. That was an Indian head penny. Now I know you guys are going to have a hard time seeing it because it is in really, really rough shape. 1893, I scratched around, finally found a date. It's rough shape. It's number five on the year, though. I'm not sure what that was. It's copper, riveted together. I don't have any idea. And there's part of a little copper, or washer off a of copper rivet, I'm guessing. And the first one of them, a lady called them grape shots. I don't know what they truly are. It's a shot, heavy duty thing. I guess, did they shoot them out of a can like buckshot or was these in an artillery shell? I don't have any idea. Get back to me on these bullets. Kind of interesting. I don't know if these are sharps, if that was like for a paper cartridge or pistol bullets. I, I'm guessing they are. I'm pretty sure that's pistol. Don't know. Anyway, it was a good time, about two hours. Uh, all these bullets are unfired. She said she's never found a fired bullet over there. To give you a little information, uh, Sterling Price, General Price was over in that area where I'm at. And right before they got captured, uh, she claimed that's where they destroyed all their ammo. Where she burned, they burned it or piled it or buried it or did whatever. As these things, none of these have been shot that I can find. I ain't found a shot bullet yet. So it kind of makes you wonder. I don't know. So I'm going to recap here on what I found the other day. Some of you may remember me finding this old lock. I did electrolysis on it to try to pull some names off of it. And I did. I think it's a Corwin or Corbin ironclad six lever. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool find. Cleaned up pretty decent. I went ahead and buffed it because I'm going to keep it anyway. I ain't planning on selling nothing. Anyway, thought I'd let you see that. May try to go this afternoon somewhere in the yard if it quits raining. Went to the chiropractor today, so I got to take it easy the rest of the day. Then it's back to work. Oh, there's my junk. Funny. Nobody is immune to them, no matter where you go, it seems. I have no idea what that was off of. Some kind of little 
mini Vienna sausage can, I don't know, wire, pull tabs, whatever. Now that one thing I found, I think is a top off of an old buzz fuse laying out there. All right, this Tim, I appreciate you watching. Happy hunting, everyone. Later.